Over the last 15 years, I've met a lot of entrepreneurs, and if there's one common mistake, it's not spending enough time and effort on recruitment. It's absolutely essential that the entrepreneur owns recruitment. Many entrepreneurs outsource it to an agency and don't own it. And what I mean by owning it is, write a job description for your first reports. Get your first reports to write a job description for the people that report to them. This isn't about HR law, it's about commercial now. If you sit and think about what you want somebody to do, and you write it down, by the time you finish writing it down, you'll think differently about the job. That will influence who you recruit and how you recruit them. The recruitment process itself is, is an art, and it's one that, again, is sadly neglected. A lot of entrepreneurs are so busy working in the business, they haven't got time to spend the time doing recruitment properly. It's absolutely essential that as a first interview, where you match the skills and capabilities of the person to the job role, and then have a second interview, maybe with a colleague as well, to get a, a second opinion. It's, it's important for the applicant to have uh, a second meeting with you, as it is for you to have a second meeting with them. And the most important thing, and the one that's missed the most, is build your values into the recruitment process. I always used to ask salespeople who came to work for me if they would bring their existing customers from their existing employer with them. And if they said yes, they didn't get the job because they were thieves and they'd steal my customers when they left. More importantly, they didn't understand that people actually buy from companies. They sign contracts with people. They buy the company, they buy the delivery team, they buy the support team, they buy the sales team, and they buy the finance team. So it's really important that you get people who share your values, and it's very essential in sales. Well, there are two real key factors here. The first is growth requires funding. Every time a company expands, they have to fund that growth. They have to be proactive and recruit people before they need them. That means they have to plan ahead. That means they have to be able to forecast when they're going to need extra people because they'll need a month to find them and three months to train them. It's no good employing somebody when it's too late because you're over trading and you're not delivering the service properly. And to do that, you have to have a clearly written down strategy and understand what kind of people you need to employ. So that's equally important. I met a very successful entrepreneur about a year ago who explained this like a train journey to London. You get to the first station and you find that some people decide they don't want to go to London after all and they jump off the train. You get to the next station and you find that some of them haven't really got a valid ticket so you kick them off the train. And When you eventually get to London you find some people don't want to be in London and won't stay there and they leave, leave the company. So it's very very important that you recruit people who are ambitious and aware of where you're going to go. I became sales director because at, at 4 million turnover we got to that point and the sales director decided it wasn't where he wanted to be, it was too much hard work, too much responsibility and he left the business and we didn't really understand why for several years um, and I took over his role um, temporarily for six months and 18 years later I was still doing it. I guess I wanted to go to London and stay there. <laughs>